just thought they made the plays. You know, uh, they they got uh, you know, Marshall made a couple big shots, uh, which he does. And Summers was uh, he, he was he was very 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 good for him tonight. He I thought he uh, you know got us in the paint area, and he just he was physical as a point guard and made made plays. This was a game where you know it's a almost a one or two possession game the entire second half. How do you guys use this you know later on in the year just you know for good experience for when these games are down the stretch later on? Uh, again, I thought we I thought we played with some poise. I thought we we, we got good looks. Uh, we competed uh, just tonight. Uh, down like I said down the stretch they made the plays and. Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job on the glass. We were undermanned as far as size. Uh, Peyton played again at the four a lot. Um, but, uh, you know, George, I thought he was a man child. He hurt us in the first half when he got in foul trouble. I thought momentum shifted a little bit. He had to go out of the game. I thought we had it going pretty good. Uh, and, and then our turnovers led to some easy baskets for them, which we, we've got to do a better job with that. Coach, uh, with Marshall, he's generally not an efficient uh, score, but tonight he was extremely efficient. How much more difficult does that make playing against Ole Miss? Makes it more difficult. Uh, hopefully, he'll take some very difficult shots from time to time. And uh, I thought at times we we made him uncomfortable, but he you know, he he just shoots it with such ease from with such range. And sometimes it's. Uh, even though you talk to kids about it, you show them on tape, it still it kept them by surprise. I thought it caught us by surprise a couple of times when he shot it from the red towel, but that's who he is. Now, give our guys credit. They competed. They uh, they chased him. They, they uh, made him take some tough ones, and, you know, that's who he is. He makes some tough ones. He takes some tough ones. So, What did you think about the crowd tonight? Unbelievable. That's, that's you know, that's what WKU basketball is about. If we can uh, continue to get crowds like that, uh, you know, It'll make uh, make this a very difficult place to play in the future, and uh, I think it'll help us put uh, even better players in the uniform. Anything else for Coach tonight? I feel like One more. the non-conference schedule has adequately prepared you guys for the for the conf for conference play. Yeah, I think so. We played either I think they said four teams that won 27 games or more last year. We played two teams that were in a Final Four last year. So I think we played a difficult schedule. I think we. Uh, you know, I, I, I like where we are, but at the same time, knowing Thursday night's going to be difficult. Uh, you know, we've got to put this one behind us. This is, we got two days to try to get this one out of our system, get ready for South Alabama. Don't dwell on this one. It's, it's one of those deals in, in, in basketball. You can't get too high after a win or too low after a loss. Stay on an even keel. It's it's long season. And, uh, I, I think we, we will do that, but it'll be uh, – Hopefully our, our veterans uh, kind of help lead us in that direction. Thanks, everybody. All right. Coach.